Okay, my son was being a son, okay? Uh, and uh, sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad. And one day my son got really upset uh, and he, he was nine years old and he took his hand and he smashed it into the door. Well, the door had a pane that was made of glass and he put his hand right through that in that exact moment, sliced all the way down his hand into his wrist and was sitting on the floor in a pool of blood in an extremist situation, as you can imagine, someone could die like that in about two minutes. And literally, I sat down next to him. I put my hand completely over him, and I sat down like this and told my daughter, you need to go find your mom and tell her we need to go to the hospital now. And it was just like that. And then all of a sudden, after that situation was over, my son was fine. By the way, we took him in. He got stitches. He apologized a couple times uh, on, the way, <laughs> on the way there. I started doing some research. And in the research, uh, as I was looking at the research, what I realized is that in extremist situations, in difficult situations during the storm, roughly about 10% of the human population goes the opposite direction of the 90%. So 90% of the people, when things get extreme or when things get hard, do what? Freak out. And 10% of the people go in the opposite direction. 